Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Welcome to another edition of Fight Sticks of the Month. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you watch this channel, you'll know I'm a huge fan of controllers and arcade sticks, and I'm even a bigger fan of customized arcade sticks. Every month, I go over the best of the best from Reddit Fight Sticks, and to have your arcade stick featured in one of these videos is pretty darn simple and straightforward. I have one rule and that is to post your arcade stick over on Reddit Fight Sticks. It's an amazing community, a lot of talented, a lot of friendly members, and if you're into Fight Sticks at all, or if you want to learn more about them, check out this subreddit. The first stick I'm showing tonight is an honorary shout out. I missed it last month and it definitely would have made a top 10. This thing is absolutely amazing. Now, if you take a quick peek just for a second at this Turkin theme stick, you can immediately tell it's got a ton going on with it. We have a screen baked in. We've got a bunch of different control types, two analog sticks, a joystick, and a WASD. Now, even further to that, we've got two different holes on the top. They do look a little bit weird, and you might be asking yourself, what exactly are they? Well, smoke comes out of them. This stick has it all. It's completely wild on so many different levels. Definitely eye-catching, and these pictures do a great job at showing everything off. Even in the daylight, it still looks amazing. And if we take a look on the inside here, uh, well, it is a bit of a rat's nest, but that's understandable considering everything that's going on with it. And if I'm not mistaken, it appears that there are two different battery packs powering this thing. We've got a portable battery right here. I might be wrong about that, though. And there's another battery right here. I think this one might be for the smoke machine. I'm not quite sure. It's got a ton going on with it. This stick appears to be entirely hand built and the end result gets a big thumbs up. Now this month, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. I'll show a bunch of fight sticks that I like and then a final top three. And we'll start out here with the first timer. This is this person's very first fight stick. It's a Kami themed Street Fighter stick and a spada, and it looks absolutely amazing. Great job on the artwork, great job on the coordination, and great job picking up an espada. Next up here, we've got another first timer, and this thing turned out amazing. It's a 3D printed fight stick for something created from scratch for the very first time. Well, you gotta be happy with the results here. It looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got some carbon fiber texture on the top, the color theme works and it's got a very interesting vibe to it. I'm guessing there's a joint on the top here so that the owner of this can swap out the left portion of the top of the stick for a different type. For example, if you wanted to go from a joystick to a WASD or hitbox style, I think this layout would allow that. And I also like the choice in buttons here just above the joystick. They are not easy to hit. You don't have to worry about accidentally hitting them in the middle of a match. And if I had to guess, I'd say they're a PC gamer considering they've got a zero delay PCB, a very low cost but highly accessible PCB. Here's an Akuma theme fight stick. I like the artwork on this one. I like the button inlays and I also love the internals. The wiring on this one is clean. One of my favorite things about Bermanche is that the artwork on this continues on more than just one panel. So we've got artwork on the top of the bottom panel and we've got artwork on the underside of the top panel. It gives a really cool continuous 3D effect. Next up, we have this incredibly interesting fight stick from Jaram. Jaram is kind of like a mad scientist. He creates all kinds of weird stuff and more often than not, it turns out amazing. Confusing some of it, yes, but amazing nonetheless. This is falling under the amazing category. I wouldn't really say this is confusing at all. Uh, we've got a frosted outer shell. We've got metallic blue and white buttons. And that's not the star of the show at all. The internals of this one are the star of the show, and it's something I really haven't seen before. The top panel on this infinity box is an iridescent mirror, and it does allow a really cool effect. I'm not really a clubbing person, but this stick gives me clubbing vibes. I guess if you like clubbing, or you're a DJ, or you like shiny things, well, this might be up your alley. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, you might be a big fan of this Goku-themed stick. We've got Dragon Balls as the button inlays, we have the four-star Dragon Dragon Ball is the ball top, and we've got Goku plastered all over this stick. On the top of this stick here, we've also got orange buttons and a custom orange cable. On the inside of this stick, we have incredibly clean wiring, and we've also got a wire cover here on the PCB. A nice little touch. Now, if that Dragon Ball stick was a little bit too loud for you, you might not like some of these upcoming sticks, but you might like this one. This is a custom wooden stick. It's calm, it's clean, it's simple, and it looks great. It even has a custom wooden bat top. Here's a few more sticks that do a great job at showing that sometimes less is actually more. 
These sticks are made of wood and resin. The artwork on them isn't necessarily loud, but it is effective. I think these are clean and very tastefully done. If you're a fan of Majora's Mask, here is a pretty cool clock tower theme stick. We've got a joystick on it, we've got a WASD layout, and also kind of the hitbox layout as well, and the cross-up buttons. This stick has a lot going on with it. On top of that, the insides look really good, and I skipped ahead here to the other stick. Here is a loud pink stick, and it is also wood. Now those last two sticks were pretty big, but I've been seeing more and more people adopt smaller form factor controllers, like this one right here. This one doesn't have any artwork at all on it, and it doesn't need it at all. The buttons kind of speak for themselves. I like the keycaps on this. I like that the LEDs are at the bottom of the keycap, and these LEDs are fully customizable. This thing looks like a ton of fun to use. I mean, if you travel around a lot or you don't have a lot of space or you have something like the Steam Deck, a small form factor controller might be the perfect companion, like this one right here. This one is powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico, which means it's probably pretty darn fast. Next up here, if you're a Guilty Gear fan, you might be a fan of this stick, at least I am. I'm a big Slayer fan in Guilty Gear, and I can't wait for him to finally drop in Guilty Gear Strive, whenever that might be. This is a pretty darn cool theme stick, and I like the fact that Johnny Fraze here showed how the artwork was done on it. And speaking of artwork, if that previous Dragon Ball Z stick wasn't your style, but you still like anime, maybe you'll like this Sailor Moon or Sailor Venus theme stick. The artwork on this is incredible. I love how it flows through the button caps. They did a great job with the inlays. And take a look at that custom ball top. It appears as if there are two different custom ball tops. One is white and the other one is that goldy orange color. And inside the ball top is absolutely amazing. This is very well done. This stick features fully customizable LEDs on the top and also on the bottom. It's a really cool effect overall and the wiring on this one is also very clean. Here's another really cool stick with incredibly clean wiring and there's something I wanted to highlight on this one. There is a button right here and it's not necessarily a jump button like a lot of people might think. It is called an antagonist button and that button has some very special properties. It'll really help level the playing field between an all button controller and a joystick. I'm not joking here. If you haven't read up about the antagonist, I'll leave a link in the description below and I highly recommend checking it out. And also check out this incredibly clean wiring. Now for the top three fight sticks of the month. In third place here, we have this very calming Ambrosia Maple and Poplar stickless arcade stick. Just looking at this thing is relaxing, at least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think the photography alone on this one deserves some sort of award. It's incredibly well staged. This stick looks simple, but it probably was not at all easy to build. The white buttons do a great job blending with the wood, and I was debating on whether or not I'd like to see actual wooden buttons on this one, custom wooden buttons that you can pick up, or these white buttons, and I'm still kind of on the fence about that because I think they did a great job here with the overall button layout, the color choices, and obviously the overall stick. In second place here, this is one of the best theme sticks that I've seen this entire year. This Sonic theme stick is awesome. We've got Sonic as the blue ball top. We've got gold rim buttons as the rings and the artwork continues on through the inlays and the buttons. This thing is tied together extremely well. It's extremely well themed. I honestly have no complaints, no recommendations and no suggestions at all for this. It is very, very, very well done. And now for the moment you've been waiting for, your fight stick of the month. And this month goes out to Jaram with his Eno themed guitar build. This doesn't even look like a fight stick at all and definitely not something that's practical, nor would you want to use it but I can't stop looking at it. Now, even if you took the design away from this thing, it's still incredibly interesting. Jaramb includes parts from all over the fighting game community here. We've got Bueno woodworking buttons, the Omni Arcade T-Spin drop-in, and the Paradise Arcade Kaimana for the LEDs. This thing is absolutely nuts. It's glow painted and gold leafed and it's handcrafted from the bottom up. And yes, it's completely impractical, but it's very well designed. And if you're a cosplayer, well, this one might be up your alley, especially if you're a cosplayer and you like to play in fighting game tournaments. Overall, I don't really have anything bad to say about this one other than the fact that I don't think I could ever learn to use it. So congratulations to your completely wacky fight stick of the month. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, tall stuff and no fluff. Unless you think fight sticks are fluff, in which case, sorry, I guess. 
Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Which one was your favorite fight stick? And if I missed one, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state. Thank you.